red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Yeah, that's right. That's right. LA Auto Show. Yeah. That's what we're fucking doing down here. We're going to the motherfucking LA Auto Show. That's right. Can't wait. Super pumped. This is how I break into character for the intro of a video. And that's how we do it. So, what's up, everybody? It's Gino G, and this is another episode of 8 Speed Racing. Welcome to the 2021 LA Auto Show. That's right, guys. We are here because we are looking at all of the brands. You know, obviously, we already know that I'm looking at the Porsche brands, and um, yeah, that's about it because no Mercedes, no BMW, no Bentley, no Rolls Royce. Um, no Ferrari. <laughs> My heart is broken. And at the end of the day, we're going to use what we got. And guess what? It's all about the presentation. These companies go all out to showcase their vehicles so that when you come and see them at the auto show, you can't wait to go to your local dealer and get that car. Now, some of these are actually a couple years ahead of scheduled delivery date but at the end of the day you want to make sure you see what you want so we're here before the public to get a good eye i'm going to take you around so stay tuned and enjoy the la auto show Obviously, I have the mask because of COVID protocols, but realistically, it's not a bother at all. This is the norm. And as you can see, there are tons of cars 
everywhere. And it's really, really cool to see a lot of the newer models, especially when they're underneath the lights. And when you see them underneath the lights, they look a different way. So if you guys can hear me, I'm hoping everything in the audio is good. Realistically, the whole show looks beautiful. Every car is laid out perfectly. It's really, really, really interesting. Let's continue to take a look at some other ones. I'm looking directly at the Z06 and here we go. Okay guys, we, this is the Z06. There's nothing else to say but the fact that this car looks amazing. I'm blown away seeing it in person. I was a little skeptical at first, test driving the 2020 C8, which you guys can check out on the, on the channel. Just letting you know that this is amazing. It really, really is. Guys, I'm not even joking. Look at the styling in this car. You will not be disappointed. Is it going to be worth the extra $100,000 that they're going to put on this MSRP? I, I don't really know, but just look at it. You cannot be disappointed with it. So we see the brown one and we see the silver one. And I'm gonna be straight up honest with you, this silver one is amazing. I love the simplicity of it. I love how aggressive it is. Just look at it. There is nothing better than red interior, knowing that you have a close to 700 horsepower engine in there. Look at it. To me, out of the orange Z06 versus the silver Z06 spec, this spec is 100% the way to go. I think that if you're trying to be flashy and aggressive, then you go with the orange. But with the silver spec, this is a, this, this looks like a Ferrari, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a clean American supercar. Okay guys, so we just saw the Corvettes and obviously the orange one with the Z07 package is phenomenal. 
And speaking to the rep, I kind of had a great conversation with her because she said, you know what? You're going to see this on Miami Beach. And you might see it other places too, as far as Los Angeles for how extravagant we are. But realistically, the Z06 in the silver spec is absolutely absolutely clean crisp and that is the one that you want you will be secret smooth and 007 all in one and i'm telling you right now that i think that that is the cleanest corvette ever made in the history of corvettes and zr1s are beautiful and the original z06s are beautiful but that silver spec is so amazing I don't know, I, I've always been a Ferrari fan, but I'm not gonna lie, that might have some competition with the V8 Ferraris, um, 100%. Fortunately, as much as I want to deny the huge market for electric that's happened and is happening we're going to step into a world where electric is the primary vehicle porsche is announcing 80 percent of their vehicles will be electric by 2030. that's coming very soon and to think are we going to have enough chargers in time I think that there's going to be a massive, massive production value for chargers everywhere. Obviously you can get them in your homes and there's there's already charging stations around the streets, but your normal gas stations are gonna be the ones that's gonna have those chargers. So as I'm walking around and seeing all these cars, I'm also noticing that there are a lot of electric vehicles popping up in their fleets because just like Porsche, they're going to discontinue a lot of their actual production in the regular gasoline engines. The hybrid is obviously very big, but they're going to be diminishing those productions because it's a super expensive to do both at the same time. So let's continue on and let's see what else. I think we're gonna head to Porsche next. Obviously there's music up above. Please check out this setup that Porsche did for the LA market. You know, like I said, setup is everything. You want people to see these cars and purchase them immediately. And it's not just about the lights, it's the surrounding elements that make you appreciate the car. Please look at how fantastic this whole setup is.
Okay guys, what's up? I hope you can hear me. This is what I really came for. The 718 Cayman GT4 RS Club Sport. And uh, I know you can see it behind me. It is absolutely beautiful. Same engine as the 992 GT3 in such a smaller chassis. And can you imagine how amazing this car must feel on the road with 500 horsepower, four liter engine? I mean, guys, does it get any better than this? Please look at it. I mean, wow. Okay guys, if you can hear me, behind me is the Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. Look how fire it is. Okay guys, 
checking in. Hopefully you guys can hear me perfectly fine. Um, just went through all of Porsche's lineup and I'm actually blown away from purchasing a Macan to now believing in 80% by 2030 will be all electric cars for their lineup. You can see where they're going and are they going to be in trouble or are they going to be the ones actually setting the bench for everyone else? And to think 10 years from now, is that a long time? It's a very long time. But realistically, seeing the way the Taycan, Sport Turismo, GTS, like it looks absolutely beautiful. And I look forward to driving each one of these cars. Okay guys, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in to the very, very, very end. Um, and uh, for those of you that did watch the very end, um, come here. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come here. Um, I have a surprise for you, and that surprise is I need to get to 2,500 subscribers. Okay, when that happens, for those of you that are subscribed, I will personally pick one of you at random okay and give you not one not two not three but five hundred dollars okay right in time for the holiday time guys i would be more than happy to give this to you especially around the holiday time you guys deserve it for supporting this channel i love when you guys like and comment on my videos the more the merrier you guys know how it works Thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next time, Gino G, 8-Speed Racing, we are doing it and doing it well.